Here we go. We are adding decimals with tenths and hundredths. We'll have problems that look like this. And we'll have some that look like this. And I'm going to show you how to add these decimals. So let's start with tenths. Smaller numbers means it's a bit easier to tackle. And we're going to start with this one right here. 3 and 8 tenths plus 4 and 7 tenths. I love pronouncing decimals like this because it tells us some hints about the place value. 3 and 8 tenths, not just 3.8. 4 and 7 tenths. Each spot has a name and you can pronounce and for the decimal. Now here's the wonderful news. If you feel that you could add the whole numbers up, 38 plus 47, and get the correct answer, then you're gonna do just fine with this. It's the exact same steps. Just one thing that we have to keep in mind now is the decimal placement, and I'm gonna teach you about that. So just like this whole number version, we're gonna start in the farthest right column. So let's do it here in the whole number version. Eight plus seven's 15, and the one goes up in the next column here. Eight plus seven's 15, and that looks the exact same so far. I'll go ahead and split these up a little bit with those lines so we can tell we've got two different problems going on. The next thing is these three add up. 1 plus 3 plus 4 is going to give me 8. 1 plus 3 plus 4 is also going to give me 8. Now think about this for a moment. If you have 38 of something and 47, you should end up with 85. But if you have 3 and 8 tenths of something, that means you have 3 and most of the next thing plus four and seven tenths which is most of that thing how many things do you have well you sure don't have 85 total this answer is incomplete the digits are correct but we are missing the place value where's that decimal so for adding decimals here's all you need to do line up the decimal so that they are in a line and that gets your place values correct and the same. We have it right here in the pieces we're adding in our add-ins, but we need it in our sum. The decimal goes in the same spot all the way down. I'm kind of impressed that I drew through all three decimals. So all right, eight and five tenths is a very different answer than 85. Same digits, eight and five, but different place values. Let's try another. Seven and one tenths plus nine and four tenths. Let's start with one plus four is five. Seven plus nine is 16. But 165 is not our answer. We have to drop the decimal into our solution as well. There we go, 16 and five tenths is correct. And a great way that you can check this is by estimating. Let's find the numbers that are close to this that are easier to work with. 7 is close to 7, and 9.4 is close to 9. 7 plus 9 is 16, so our answer should be about 16, which it is. If we didn't have a decimal there, 165 is not about 16. So you can use estimating to check your answer. Now here's the one thing you need to watch out for. Let's say you have a problem like this. 21 and a half, 21 and 5 tenths, plus 8. You're not going to get the correct answer if you add this up right now. Why is that? Place value. We know where the decimal is in this number up top. Where is it for this 8? It's not shown, and if we did show it, it would be right there. Now here's the problem. We add up in columns, just like this. If we add this five and this eight up, we're gonna get something like that. But let's really think about that for a moment. This is a five tenths. Five tenths is a half of something. So let's say you've got half of a circle. And this, it'd be eight holes or eight circles. If you add eight whole circles plus a half circle, you should get eight and a half. What did we get when we added this up? Five plus eight is 13? That is not eight and a half right there. And why is that? 
it's because we were trying to add different sized pieces together as if they were the same and they're not. So let's back up a little bit here. We need to set up this problem differently. When I write this eight, I need to write it in the right place value. This is the tenths place value, the tenths. This is the ones place. This is the tens place. And I have eight, eight holes, not eight little pieces, not eight groups of 10. It's eight ones. So this eight needs to go in the ones place. Just like that. Great. Now to simplify it, I'm going to add a decimal here. And that looks so much better. Now we are set up for success. We are adding up the same place values to each other. We'll get the right amount that way. Five plus zero is five. Let's bring this decimal down right now since it's the next part over. One plus eight is nine and two. 29 and a half. That's correct. Because that skill is so important, I want to show you another problem to practice lining up the decimals correctly. And now we'll start bringing in the hundredths place. That's right, multiple numbers after the decimal. All right, I'll tell you right now, if you add that up just like it is, it's not going to be correct. Then you might be sad. So what do we do? Well, our problem is we don't have the place values lined up. We're going to try to add seven hundredths or seven tiny pieces of a hole to nine tenths, which would be most of a hole. Huh. Tiny, tiny pieces added to most of it in the same place value. It's not going to get us what we want. So what do we do? We've got to shift over the place values. How do we know where to line it up? The decimal point. So I'm going to scoot over this bottom number so that the decimals are aligned. And as we do this, we're going to have some gaps. And I want you to be okay with those gaps. Gaps are not your enemy. <laughs> we can fill some zeros in here if they don't change the value of the numbers. Let's start with this gap. If I add a zero there, does that change the value? No. Zeros at the end after a decimal don't change the value. It just shows 9 tenths instead of 90 out of 100. And those are equivalent fractions, same value. So that's fine. Let's talk about this spot up here. There's a gap. We could add a zero right there. Let's test it out to make sure that that's okay. We had three ones, and now we still have three ones and zero tens. That's okay. It did not change the value. Part of the reason is it didn't scoot any numbers over to a different place value. All those digits are still where they began. But that makes it a little bit easier and more pleasing to our eye so that we've got numbers in every column. Let's add it up vertically like always. 7 plus 0 is 7. 0 plus 9 is 9. 3 plus 4 is 7. Oh, I did something without even saying it. What did I do right here? This decimal needs to go in that same spot in the answer column. Now, this area is for the decimal. And 0 plus 3. Ta-da! So now you know how to add with hundredths as well. Two place values after is not a problem doesn't change a thing in how you add it. Line up the decimal first and add like you've always added. You're doing great. I want to see if you can tell if this next one is set up correctly. All right, what do you think? Yes or no? I'll tell you right now, it's a no. The easy way to tell, the place values are not aligned because the decimals are not stacked on top of each other. So I'm going to rewrite it with the decimals lined up fill in my same digits. There we go. Now we have this is the place value column for the hundredths. This is tenths, ones, and tens. It's going to work out. You could leave this blank or add a zero to fill in. Either way, it does not change the value of that number. So you can if you want. Nine plus seven is 16. Carry the one. One plus zero plus three is four. Let's add the decimal place in the answer. 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 0 is 3, and we're done. 33 and 46 hundredths. Let's confirm it with estimating. This is about 31, and this is about 2. So it should be about 33 
Turns out it is just a little bit more. That part right there exactly. Great job. I think you're ready to tackle problems like this with success. If this video helped you out, you can help me out by giving it a thumbs up. Good job.